Hello, this tutorial will cover the steps required for installing and configuring BASIC for Android. BASIC for Android depends on two additional components. The first is Java JDK version 6 and the second is Android SDK. If you encounter any issue or problem during installation, please feel free to contact us. The support mail is available in the downloads page. We will start with the installation of Java 6 JDK. It is important to install Windows X 86 even on uh, Windows 64 bit. We will now install this package. The second step is to install Android SDK. Now we will install the SDK. It is recommended to install Android SDK in a path without spaces. and we will start the SDK Manager. The SDK Manager allows us to install different versions of uh, Android. You can later add uh, another uh, versions. I recommend you to start with uh, API Level 8. You can also install Google USB driver if you want to connect to a real phone like uh, Nexus One or Nexus S. With BASIC for Android, we can use both an emulator or a real device during development. We will now create an uh, emulator instance. and we can now start it. The first time that we start the emulator, it takes some time till it, it is ready. Okay, now it's time to download BASIC for Android and install it. We will now configure BASIC for Android under Tools, Configure Paths. 
first we need to find a file named javac.exe this is part of the java jdk you will usually find it under program files As you can see, I have multiple versions of uh, Java installed. I'm picking the one we just uh, installed now. And here is the file. Now we need to reference android.jar. And that's it for now. We are now ready to start working with BASIC for Android. As a small example, we will create a new project. We should set the package name. And the application label. By pressing Ctrl and Space together, we are activating the autocomplete feature. And now we compile and run the program. I will choose to run it on the emulator. And you can see our program is now running.